Uh, guten Abend. I'm quite bored now. My name's George Lees. Uh, I think you know who I am. Let me remind you who I am. Yeah, I'm a, a loyal citizen for a long time of that woman there. She's quite dangerous when approached. She tries to section you and bang you up for your knowledge. Uh, and her name is... Queen Elizabeth of the Commonwealth, which is a vast tract to land all over the world, and there are her, her accomplices as emperors and empresses of the globe. That's Jimmy Hill. Yeah, no, you must not do that, Jimmy Hill. That's Bruce Forsyth. That is uh, Rob Bryden, yeah, and all of them have Habsburg inbreeding abnormalities. And hers are quite obvious now. Yeah, she is a murderous tendency when she is crossed. And Rob Bryden is the P&O shipping line magnet for her uh, ancestor and his ancestor, who is Arius Copernius Piso, who wrote the fucking Bible. And there is the result of that, and that is the daughter, uh, that is the auntie, of Princess Christina of the uh, oh no sorry I've got the wrong this is uh, Bernhardt's daughter yeah of the uh, committee of a thousand and one the club of three hundred and the club of thirty yeah, and she's not quite powerful enough to get onto that like the Forbes rich list none of them pay any taxes all of the other people have to pay taxes even the folk that are operating in the public service yeah, in Britain, none of them have had a pay rise in years, and it's a full decade now. She gets uh, 6 to 7 or 8% every year on the millions that she brings in without doing a day's work. And she's like the Rothschilds because she's adopted the revolutionary red clothing yeah, that makes them look like revolutionaries. And they don't appear on the Ford Rich list either. And that one there has a Habsburg lip. And I've now got a whole series of photos. So you can have a lip like her, or you can have a chin like him. So let's take it a little bit for, uh, further forward. Because if you remember, the German national anthem uh, is actually the uh, uh, the Austrian national anthem right up to 19, uh, 1914, uh, and that is the legendary one uh, that the Germans then began to use again, uh, even although they were the Austrian nobility and they had been stripped of their titles. That's the poor people in the world that are called Rothschild, Todesco, uh, <laughs> uh, Arnstein and all of the Austrian nobles that we've made about four or five videos on now. So let's hit on Spain for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there is the legendary person with the Habsburg lip. That is actually a man. I think. I think. <laughs> yeah, and there are all their beautiful looking relatives. And that is the gay boy now. Uh, that appears as the only gay in town on the news comedies that were still being broadcast uh, the year before I left for New Zealand uh, in her empire. And we got there using the P&O shipping lines and those shipping lines that he is the advertising person for are named... Uh, are named... Uh, the P and O lines, that is the Piso family that are her ancestors that faked the Bible eh, and eh, gave them all in the course of time, sorry that's the real gods, gave them all the massive moniker that we are one of the most evil bloodlines in world history and that's why her dad, yeah, she was born blind. Bernhard of Lip Biesterfield and that is the, the lip story. Uh, that is my arch enemies. The early, the very first novel I ever read 
features the story. And the very first accident I ever had ripped my lip apart. Yeah, and that could just be a coincidence. But let me show you how all of those pictures are on here. And that one that is really sensitive, that is Charles II of Spain. He's an ancestor of King Juan Carlos of Spain, who has a Habsburg lip. And is the father of uh, her grandson, uh, which is... Uh, Prince uh, Harry, uh, and the father of the other one is James Hewitt. <laughs> yeah, do you get it now? Okay, so let me now show you how the whole, uh, uh, this morning I've been on this web page since I got up, because all of the images on it were taken down, and they've still got four or five to go, that's Duke, Bruce Forsyth has the jaw lip that was the inbred Habsburg bloodline. Yeah, that's that Duke Bruce Forsyth that you've just seen on that picture. Yeah, do you get it? And there's Jimmy Hill, the man that makes those you don't want to do that video with Harry Enfield and all the people that are the inbreeds that lead to Hitler Rothschild, who was her cousin. Uh, and the Habsburg lip one, when you find it on Facebook, it has been taken down. When you click on it, there it is. Okay? That is when you click on that, it gets smaller instead of getting bigger. And that is because it has an explanatory message on it that you could read if it did get bigger. Let me show you how that works. So everything else, if you click on Rob Brydon, he's just a serf, you see. We get a big picture of him. If you click on <laughs> the explanation for why everybody is deformed in these bloodlines, you get, hey presto. <laughs> it's a kind of magic and it keeps the whole of their deformed facial structure a secret. Yeah? <laughs> uh, and if you click on it again, you can actually open the tab that then allows you to see what it means. Oh, sorry, that's Fergie at Man United. We don't want to look at her. Oh, no, she's Jordan of Man United. Uh, so how do I get onto that page from that point? Oh. Here we go. So there's the Habsburg pictures, and there's the Habsburg chins. Okay? There's the gay boy one. Yeah? <laughs> the only gay in town. I forget what their names are. They are named very closely to Terry Gilliam, uh, and they're on the chat shows after the news almost. Uh, every night for a while when it becomes topical and it will become topical again because there is the man McCain that died yesterday and he was in the news last night and he's got a Habsburg chin <laughs> so let's now just scan down it on that block scale and we'll see who else we can find there's Jimmy Hill yeah you must not do that Jimmy Hill you must not refer to uh, don't do that, George. That is the joke about King George VI and Joyce Grenfell saying to her pupils in the school, don't do that, George. Yeah? You don't want to do that, George. And that is them telling King George VI not to take us into war with their cousins with the same defects on their faces which the gods have given them to let us see who are the most evil bloodlines and the owners of the world. So, Jimmy Hill, the only gay in town, eh, and McCain, who died yesterday. Posthumous member of the Star Wars team. 
Right then, down we go. Uh, and who else have we got? Donald Trump's. Uh, he's got the lip issue. Uh, and I should really have gotten him first, shouldn't I? Because he's in a position to change the world. There is Holy Roman Emperor Charles V suffered from an enlarged jaw, also known as the Habsburg jaw. Yet these are the people that are the sons of God in their own mind's eye, and that is Jah's son. Do you get it? And they fleece the whole world because they are the Austrian nobility and the Spanish nobility, and they launch the massive inquests into the religions that they launched so that they can massacre even the priests and the cardinals if they don't obey the rules. And Angelina Jolie is, I can't remember whether she's got the jaw or the lip. You get lip Beasterfield now for the resident. Oh, there is one Carlos, and I believe he must have the lip because his jaw is quite tiny. Okay. And there's the Habsburg chin for a typical member. Okay, and there is Rothschild, and he must have the lip, I think. And there's Jimmy Hill with the chin. Uh, and <laughs> let's just go down. Oh God, it's jumpy. Recognise anyone there? Uh, no, no big names. Martin Chapman. Humble people. And there's Kirk Douglas. And I think he must have the, oh, maybe it's the chin, yeah. Uh, and Donald Trump's on one of them. Uh, and it's still taking the movie. Oh, and the sun's coming out. Isn't it lovely? I can't remember who that one is. No, it doesn't tell you. Uh, so McCain's got the chin. Uh, and that's not necessarily what killed him. But he had a cancer, I believe. And there's the sun god's signature on that one's lapel. wonder who he is. Let's have a quick look. Habsburg Eagles birding in New Jersey in America. No, I'm not, no more insight than you into that. And there's a couple of Rothschilds on it. And there is Mozart. And he's not got the chin, so he must have the lip. Uh, and Quite anonymous, and that is that Angelina Jolie. Yet? She's on one of them, uh, and there's sporting players, and some of them are particularly pug. <laughs> and there's the gay boy lookalikes. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Is almost like uh, the author of the horrible uh, stories about Monty Python. That is Gilly, Gilliam, uh, and th they are all uh, the bo the gay boy in town, the only gay in town comedy. I'll have a look for him at the end once we get through. Oh, there's the Queen. So she's got the lip, okay? And that's why the Habsburg label has come up for her. And there are all the people with all those traits that are Charles V, Holy Roman Empire, Habsburgs, in England, it's Henry VIII, and that is Henry on Jesus' cross. And there in France is Francis I, and there in the papacy is Pope Leo X. And there in the Protestant movement is a man called Martin Luther, and they're all inbreeds. Quite dangerous, really, Queenie. And there is the ug ugly, ugly man that is Charles II of Spain. And that is Spain that ran the Inquisition and murdered hundreds of thousands of Christians, even although they're on their side, in inverted commas. 
Uh, right then, let's see if we can find Angelina Jolie and see what her defects are. Yeah, she's a close friend of the Queen of England, and there are the murdered archdukes in uh, Sarajevo. Yeah, that is, they were murdered. That is the son of the archduke that was murdered to start World War I, and he was the owner and murdered in the hunting lodge for the archdukes that became, after they were murdered by the Rothschilds, the Rothschilds hunting lodge. I'm not sure if you've heard of the Rothschild family already. Quite dangerous to uh, probe any of their activities. And they've all got the traits of the inbreeds, as you might have expected. And there's a couple of clerics. Britney Spears does not eat squirrels, and she has a Habsburg lip. Yeah, tucking it away and saving it in their stash. Uh, I should remember who that one is. Vanityfair.com And there's Sarajevo again. Isn't that a coincidence? And that's the Austro-Hungarian river valley where all the wars are launched from. And that's the blue Danube for a laugh. And that is the royal blue colours. Yeah, for... The Rothschilds. Uh, sorry, it's the Asia blue colours. And there is Rihanna, I think. Uh, and she is covering her lip and her chin. <laughs> On the first day of a story. And there is a man called Winston Churchill. <laughs> and there's McCain again. And there is the Habsburg jaw, is not a beautiful trait. And there is Donald Trump with the Queen's lip. <laughs> okay, I think we could stop there, but let me just show you him in higher resolution. The madness of King Donald, yeah, and he's got the lip. Sorry, let's take you back. And I should really flip to the other one now so we can scan down that and see who's got the... Oh, this is the lip. So there's the only gay in town. There's loads that look like him. And I think he might have the lip and the chin, poor bugger. <laughs> and I think he is guilty of buggery too because he's the only gay in town. And there's the pug ugly one that is Charles II of Spain, Juan Carlos. Yeah, and was attractive enough to allow uh, Princess Diana to become his victim. Yeah, and she did that to get her revenge on what the male bloodline had done and all the bastards that they create, even before she started to date Prince Charles. His chin, I uh, have not investigated, but we might find him somewhere on these pictures. And that looks like the royals that would start the massive Christian uh, massacres. And that is Protestantism versus Catholicism. And that was Catholicism for Charles I and Protestantism for Charles II. And the growing of the first piece of pineapple in Britain. Yeah, that is uh, esoteric curiosity, the Habsburg lip. A grot something. Oh no, let's not go there in case we uh, do not get the full coverage. And <laughs> so this is now lip. Uh, and let's see who we can find there. Oh, sorry. So down we go. I wonder if what we could find the only gay in town. Comedy. Only. Oh, sorry, we need images. Only gay in town. Comedy.
Well, there he is. <laughs> and all of it has got loads of dignity and stuff like that. And it's got the Christian cross, which is actually the rotating windmill blades. And that is the swastika for Hitler Rothschild. And it's the naming of the global police. And this guy seems to know that because he is pictured there as the only gay in town in a police uniform. And I might get in real trouble because of this. And his picture gets smaller, yeah, when you zoom in on it. <laughs> uh, I wonder what the comedy was called. And I think he's Welsh. And that's the Prince of Wales thing for Prince Charles. Could be quite concerning. And that could be Lionel Richie. <laughs> uh, and I don't think he's gay, but uh, all of them are covers for Lionel Nathan Rothschild uh, and the cousins of Hitler and all of those people that created Alois Hitler by shagging people in the downstairs sector. <laughs> uh, right then, so back to the lips and see who the victims of it are. Yeah, it's inbreeding, Hannah. And there's one Carlos again. He's got the lip and the jaw, allegedly. <laughs> and he murdered his own brother so he could become the king. Not many people know that. Uh, I don't know how long we get coverage with this new camera. Thank you to my new friends for helping out with those issues. And there's the ancestry of King Charles II of Spain. We could have a look at that. So that is visit. I can't see the writing on it. We might have to visit. Inbreeding and the downfall of the Spanish Habsburgs. Yeah, and that's the pug, ugly one. The pa Habsburgs are one of those royal families who are relatively well known and in the minds of the public are a great, to a great extent the emblems of the downsides of inbreeding. Poor Queenie. She did a massive invasion of her reputation. To painting to the left is Charles II, of King of Spain, the last of the Spanish Habsburgs, and an imbecile whose premature death at the age of 39 ushered in a period of dynastic chaos which led to the War of Spanish Succession. These conflicts between France and other European powers were one of those turning points in history, a sad capstone to the long reign of the Sun King, Louis, that's S-U-N, King. They have the temerity to replace the Sun God, and that they will not get away with that. Louis XIV was the Sun King, S-U-N, like Rupert Murdoch is now the Sun King, and his Queen is Rebecca Brooks. France's position as the unchallenged power of Europe ended due to the fiscal and military overextension by Louis war to succeed the Spanish throne for his grandson. But this is a story of genetics as well as history because historians have long assumed impressionistically that there was something rotten in the gene pool of the Spanish Habsburg. Here is the excerpt from an online biography of Charles II. Let's look at the pictures in case we've missed any of the world-owning families. Oh, sorry, it does not really give us. Oh, it will be further down, so let's have a look for a summary. And that will not get bigger. So that is Philip of Castile, Joanna of Castile, all of the people that are in the El Cid movie. Oh, God, it's humming. Yeah, let me turn that off. So, the ancestry of King Charles II of Spain, 1661. Yet the pilgrims have already gone to America and the massive Thirty Years' War all over Europe for Christian versus Pagan, Catholic versus Protestant, and which, yeah, all of them get burned and killed and massacred and tortured before that happens because they're told to worship the non-existent Jesus, otherwise we'll give you 
the angel's wings by cutting your ribs open, pulling your lungs out the back of your body and allowing you to suffocate to death under an oak tree yeah, and using the Ing label for the pagan cult. Okay, that's Joanna of Castile, Isabella of Portugal, Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, Philip II of Spain, Marie of Spain, Aria of, yeah, you're getting the usual suspects, of Austria, Aria of Austria. Yeah, that's Ari and Arsus, and all of the Piso descendants, Philip II of Spain, and can you feel the sun beginning to warm to the story now? Yeah, that is the sun that was replaced by these people. Uh, Aria of Austria, 1543, and there's Charles II of Austria, Anne of Habsburg, Albert V, Duke of Bavaria, yeah, the usual suspects, Mary, Anna, Aria of Bavaria, William V, Duke of Bavaria, Renata of Lorraine, uh, Marguerite of Austria, Ferdinand II, Holy Roman Emperor, Marie Anne of Bavaria, Philip IV of Spain, Marie Aria of Spain, Ferdinand III, Holy Roman Emperor, and then we get down to Charles II of Spain, 1661 to 1700. So they've launched the Pilgrim Fathers, they've launched the Hundred Years' War in Europe by then, and they're just about to launch the Shin and the stealing of America in 1700, and that occurred in 1715. And ever since then, they've been allowed to murder their wives if they do not like them, and that is the rules of the Shin. Told us by the murdered Greg Hallett, who was murdered by the Queen of England, who has a Habsburg lip, but we've not found her yet, so let's get a move on. Oh yeah, we've seen her in the picture. Uh, sorry. So these are lippy people. Do you get the lips of uh, Beasterfield that were the Nazis before the war? Some of them are in quite a bad way. Who's that one? Oh, it doesn't tell you. It must be quite spooky on the pillow if you don't sleep with the light on. <laughs> and Hannah's just got lovely little dimples. Oh, right, so who else can you recognise? Oh, well, that could be Donald Trump's dad. He's got loads of godly looking images on him. The Daily Mail, let's see what that is. End of Royal Dynasty as Otto von Habsburg. <laughs> Poor sun god, look at the role of him now. <laughs> yeah, and that's where the ribs are cut from. Habsburg lip lyrics. Ways to get royally screwed. And there's another family tree. Vogue, Madonna. And there is the one that is the British royals. And she's got a beard. <laughs> uh, and she's Princess uh, Sophie of Wessex. I think. Let's not quote me on that. There's Jimmy Hill again. Not to do that, King George the Sixth, and there is Jennifer Aniston. With she had to get plastic surgery to get either her chin or her lip removed, uh, and that's on one of those stories already. Oh, that's the gay boy, <laughs> Fergie of Manchester with plastic tits, Habsburg lip, Habsburg chin. And one of those stories is Jennifer. There she is. So Ariston 
is the nickname of the Bible author, and Jennifer is part of his family. And she's lovely even after the plastic surgery. And I'd love to take her out to dinner. Okay. Uh, Bondi Vets, Dr. Chris Brown. Oh, it's, isn't it lovely? So let's get back to where we were on the lip bloodlines. There's Jennifer. And that could be Donald Trump's dad again. He's a Habsburger.net. Uh, and I, you can only guess that Donald got his Habsburg lip from his dad. And he ran the brothels. Uh, right then. So, uh, anybody else? And McCaskill, where? Oh no, Sescafil. Harmony. And there's their jaws in archaeological mode. Uh, and we could show more results on there, but we could go back now to the jaw thing, and it's probably more spectacular. Jimmy Hill, Rob Bryden, oh Queen Victoria, what's wrong with her? Well of course she was inbred with the Rothschilds, and they do that all the time. And there's the other, the original Lionel, uh, Nathan Rothschild, sorry, who stole the Bank of England, uh, and he's a massive mafia man, and since I became a political activist, He's been forced to abdicate from the throne and pass it on to his children because they are fascists too. And I don't think they murdered the elder brother like he did. And let's see what the text is on this one, unless it gets smaller like the other traits. The Habsburg of Spain descended from Queen Juana, J-U-A-N-A, -A, the maid of Castile, who was mentally unstable. Her ancestors increased her inheritance by only marrying cousins, which caused deformities to be passed on. These incestuous marriages resulted in the mentally and physically handicapped King Carlos II of Spain, who had an enormous misshapen head and chin, exaggerated to almost caricature-like proportions, rendering him unable to chew and barely able to speak. Charles VI, called Charles the Mad, oh sorry, it's Mad, uh, ruled France from 1380 to 1415 at stages. He believed he was made of glass and inserted iron rods into his clothing to prevent him from breaking. Oh yeah, there's loads of stories about carrying them around so that they cannot, with their fragile genealogy, uh, sustain a shock to their ultra-fragile body. And when you get syphilis on top, all of it becomes royal blue, like the azure mane. Strangely, the huge chin became a royal feature in Europe. Queenie. People took on the deformity as a royal qualification. And that's why the British royals are so interested in mental health. Let me show you that. British. And you've seen it already in my videos. Royals. Mental health. God bless the Duke of Edinburgh for keeping them all together with the fascist tendencies that Prince Bernhardt of Lip Beesterfield showed. Mental health. You remember the little inquests around the time that they were trying to justify my sectioning. Yeah, and they're now wearing the berserkers gear for the Mao dynasty that is the takeover of Vietnam and China and Asia and uh, Korea. Yeah, and sitting there in playing Russian roulette and shouting, uh, shouting, uh, uh, what was it? Ming or something? Uh, Mao. Mao! 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 Yeah, and that is the Mao dynasty that becomes the bosses in China 
after they had made them all drug addicts in the 200-year opium war run by Queen Victoria. And the man who signed the treaty for that was Ellie Poo, just to show that they now own the countries where the elephants used to roam around. That's Africa and Asia. And all of it is theirs now, and that is the fleecing of those countries and the elephant uh, issues that are the fleecing issues for the people that run all of that out of Austria. Uh, and there's not much on mental health, really. Yeah, because they've kind of been embarrassed on that. Uh, and let's now see if we can see the size of Prince Harry's ears at the wedding. Prince Harry, yeah, with the shell-like ears from King Juan Carlos, his father, by the goldsmith woman that was the bastard that was Princess Diana. And she's got a nice temperament, which is why they want to be rid of her using the rules that were launched in the Shin and are the prima nocti uh, rights to murder her on her wedding night. <laughs> wedding photos. Yeah. He has changed his ears by plastic surgery. <laughs> uh, and let's see. There we go. Yeah. Wing nuts now kind of different coloured on each half. <laughs> I think with that little news bulletin there and a reminder that this is the story of the uh, the King Juan Carlos is the lookalike in the movie trailer for uh, Already Torn. Uh, let me get that. So, Torn by the woman that is the Pisa woman from Naples that is uh, torn. Natalie Ambruglia, quite a sophisticated name. And when you look at the stills all the way through this movie, okay, it is the cover for King Juan Carlos's shell-like ears and his love affair Oh God, and all of the lookalikes for the Roman emperors too. <laughs> okay, so here comes the Juan Carlos Jr. lookalikes. Yeah, he murdered his brother at the age of seven. And let's get the man in to show you what he looks like. Yeah, and there's his shell-like ears. So to look like Prince Charles, uh, he, Prince Harry has had to have uh, surgical operations on his lugs. I think we'll stop there now. And thank you for the new camera for working. Uh, have you seen the images of Bill Clinton's mum? Let's just find you that again. Oh no, there's a whole range of chins. Oh no, we were still going through the chins, weren't we? Or was it the Jaws? I think it was the Jaws, because it's more melodramatic. Oh, and they've not got enough pages. So there's the lip one. And let's go to the bottom. Well, I don't think we've seen Queenie on the listings. And all of them look like tri Trump's seniors. Oh, sorry. So Cain passed on yesterday, and look at the state of some of them. <laughs> uh, Divine Theatre. And Kipping with your cousins, or your brothers, or your mum. <laughs> uh, really quite dangerous, and there's the Oakland County Sheriff Wanted. Yeah, there's Zuckerberger. King Philip the Fourth of Spain, and it's quite a good likeness, isn't it? And I like him now, because Facebook are much more liberal and freedom orientated than YouTube could ever be with everything that they have banned in my 
video output already. Yeah, with the chin, King Philip the Fourth of Spain. <laughs> so let's go down at low resolution. Oh, there she is! Quite spooky, really, isn't it? Vienna's fate is a cautionary tale for Brexit, post-Brexit London. And that's the Financial Times. And you can see how greedy she is. <laughs> Sorry, I should not get personal. It's quite dangerous to get personal with this lot. <laughs> right then. Oh, more results. So we've seen Donald. Oh, who's that one, Hannah? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and there's a couple of pharaohs. Britney Spears does not eat squirrels. <laughs> and there is Stalin, and he's in the family. And that's now confirmed for us. See what it says there. Post awesome pictures of historical characters. I believe it is Stalin. His nickname is Soso. And that is the naming of Soho. And there, oh God, continue, click here to manage, continue using site. And there are the three wise men, James Blunt. Very insightful singer. Yeah? That's Stalin with the withered left hand, yeah, nicknamed Soho, and you saw him as a boy in that previous image with the same inbreeding traits that the families have. And I thought Beaverbrook was at the back of that lineup, but I can't see him. That's Max Aitken, yeah, and he's the boss at the Daily Express, and he is the Beaverbrooks of Canada that brought up Bill Clinton as the child of Pamela Digby Churchill and that was her lover and she kept with him for the whole of her love life. She was married to Randolph Churchill, an effete little man, and she left him and opted to sleep in 10 Downing Street with that Orkafa icon for fascism, like all three of them are. He got polio when he was a boy yeah, and that is the polio that is the naming of the Bible author and one of his nicknames, like all of the others that include the Bishop of Rome and St. Peter and Jesus Christ and the Father God. Yeah, and that's why the God punishes them with the malformations and the stillborn and the blind births that afflict them all when they have German measles and that is the little red joke for Fergie in the Twin Towers and everything that they do in their lives are to impoverish the poor people, to get their numbers down to less than, to 500 million from the current total that is 9 billion. Yeah, and that is the three wise men that James Blunt sings about because he's from Devon and he's a member of the Wellington family that is Wellesley Wood, and he's married now to Sophia Wellesley, and all of them are fascists. And Winston Churchill eh, puts his semen sample in the cigar tube, and all of a sudden out pops, eh, out pops Queen Elizabeth II and her sister, little sis Margaret, who loved to have two black men at the same time. And I've got the pictures of all of those scandals and Lloyd's banking group were able to make a fortune out of coercing the royals on Princess Margaret's story alone. Okay, uh, and uh, so uh, I think we'll stop there and I'll now thank my new camera for being able to make quality videos like that. Let me just find you a picture of Winston Churchill and Pamela Harriman Digby, Digby who is the mother Bill Clinton. Yeah, and he is the father of Bill Clinton and his sister, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince.
Princess Margaret. But he actually loved Pamela Digby Churchill and that's why she lived in his bed in number 10 Downing Street. Uh, we could find the images again on my uh, OneNote profile. Oh no, it's not open. Oh yes it is. And there's the Habsburg chins. Yeah, when you look at them. And I believe that, that when I saw that one, it reminds me of my greatest hero, who is also a neuroscientist, and his name is Noam Chomsky. And it reminds me also of that little twat at Cape Oxford that spent his whole life in a wheelchair predicting that he knew more about the universe than the gods in the heavens that created it. I can't remember his name, but when you see the image, you will remember him in his wheelchair for the whole of his life. Right then, so, uh, history, uh, and it, oh sorry, I don't know whether or not I can get it in time. Let's have a look for uh, Winston Churchill, the father of uh, Clinton. Uh, and we could look for it here. Uh, Pamela Digby Church Hill. Do you get it? She left her husband, Randolph, uh, and she slept with the Prime Minister because she was a sex maniac and she entertained people even if they came down from Scotland as poor people, when they tried to go to the Churchill, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the sex store, uh, they, <laughs> they were able to make love to her just on request. Uh, and we may not be able to do this in time, so let's scan that. Oh, no. Pamela. <laughs> Winston Churchill. Harriman, Collins. Last week, is that her? I hope so. Pamela Harriman, little sis. That's uh, the she married for the third time in America. She's the Pamela Harriman three. So Clinton's kids. Sorry, uh, where is it? Uh, Bush, Hyman, Scandering. Oh, this is it. So there's the big picture. No, that's Scandering. So there's the Kofi Annan story that's still untold since my camera failed me, but I can't see now the... Pamela. There's the Branson boards that I did not get round to uh, in the profiling of everything that they do. So do you get it? Bill Clinton's mother it was the, uh, the concubine to Winston Churchill and he lived, she lived in, how the hell have they managed to get rid of that? That's the other side. So once he was reared by uh, Beaverbrook, he then had to be passed on and they needed to find a mother and that is the one they chose. And that is the Harriman, who the mother actually married uh, a 
quarrymen, and all of those are the people that were trading with the enemy during George W. Bush's period. Uh, and, uh, no. Sorry, Pamela, last week. So that's the series of tabs that should have the Kofi Annan and all his uh, marriage to the Rothschild woman uh, and all of his links to Richard Branson but I cannot now see the that looks like it but no that's just the Scandinavian pigeons Brown Brothers Oh, it could be the top one. So there's Churchill sighted. And yeah, this is it. So let's find Bill Clinton as quickly as we can. And the camera is doing impressively well for us. Yeah, the Harlot Report, numbers two and three in the old days. And we'll see Bill Clinton and his mum. There's his mum. Pamela Digby Churchill, the daughter of Winston and the mother of Bill Clinton. Clinton turns out to be British. He was born, turns out to be the son of Pamela Digby Churchill. And let's now get rid of that. And let's now get rid of that. And let's now scan down till we see young Bill, who's about to be brought up by, uh, by, uh, alien people that he's never ever met in a different continent which he will then become the president of and there's the first presidents and there's all the banking scams and there is Winston and Pamela Hyman and there are they with the deserted husband that is Randolph Churchill yeah that's Randolph that is William Clinton and that is him at high resolution yeah, on that camera, walking beside his mother, uh, and that is the book that got Greg Hallett murdered by the royal family, because uh, that is The Sex Collectors, Volume 3, and The Heroin Tickets. Uh, and it does not show you a picture of Beaverbrook, who is Max Aitken, and attended Churchill's Golden Wedding uh, in the Côte d'Azur the year that he retired from being the Prime Minister. And that is his lover, and that is their baby, Bill Clinton, the President of America, reared by uh, Lord Beaverbrook, who is the man who was in charge of the munitions profiteering uh, for the Air Force, and his son was a field marshal, or whatever you call it, a squadron leader in the great scams, and that allows them to bomb all of the great uh, mansions that they own so that none of the story can be told unless you're as brave as Greg Hallett was and that is Bill Clinton in his mother's arms and her father, the father is Winston Churchill and he actually had sex with her uh, and she loved him and she loved to have sex with powerful men. Pamela's missing years are from the end of World War Two, 8th of May and when, when Winston left 10 Downing Street, 27th July 1945 to early 1947, this proved enough time for her to conceive, carry a child to term, give birth and recover her figure. And Bill is not on the lists, because he's not yeah, from the Austrian nobility or the Spanish nobility. He's actually from the uh, German nobles that are blind Prince George of Cumbria and Teviotdale and all of that has taken place and my reward for revealing all of that is to be sectioned by the Queen of England who's totally illegitimate and all of that has been pro proven by the now dead Greg Allen and there is a mother who was found for Billy Rex in America and the name that's Billy Rex is Bill Clinton and Rex means 
son of a king and he's supposed to be a peacemaker and he's the one that launched three new Jews into the, uh, uh, the high court in America and that was the trick that was done by Woodrow Wilson in World War I to demonize the Jews by placing Jews in the uh, Supreme Court in America. And all of it is absolutely messy and that then they bring in uh, uh, Lionel Messi to cover the fact that uh, Lionel Nathan Rothschild is the father of Hitler. Uh, or, sorry, that is the father of almost all of Queen Victoria's babies. And the whole of the world history is absolutely sordid, don't you think? And then Monica comes into the story with his spunk on her little blue dress. And I'm going to stop that now and thank you for my camera for working as long as it did. Oh, how do you switch it off? Mm. Okay, bye bye, young Bill. Yeah, young Bill. Old Bill. Yeah, and all of it is a massive William Bill Jefferson, Churchill in commas, Blythe the third Clinton. Yeah, 14th August 1946, yet to pass on. The key to look for in possible relatives is the upper maxilla, maxilla the bone from top lip to cheeks, to cheeks, the upper lip, the cheekbones, the nose, then the eyes. Do you get it? That is the world's richest fascists. It is the Committee of 300, and it is every government leader all across the world are Mafia members. The Monica Lewinsky story, she was a Polish Mossad agent, Valerie Jane, and she was there to run as a distraction and put pressure on Clinton. That's his spunk on her little blue dress, and that is really the cover for Adolf Hitler Rothschild's Eva Braun's little blue dress. And on and on it goes, and it's totally evil, and the gods are the only people that are capable of ending it. Donald, it appears, is too stupid. Right then, off we go. And there is Bill. Wave goodbye. Yeah? Yeah, right then. I hope this is how to stop it.